guys. So here we've got the Digitech Audio Visual HDMI extender, uh, model AC1659. So there's a simple little unit. People will commonly have, say, Foxtel in another room, and they want to transmit Foxtel to the living room, and they want to have IR control. So you've got two wall plates. Uh, first wall plate is, and we'll start from here. So say we've got our Foxtel box or a DVD player, Blu-ray, whatever and then we've got an HDMI in here so you're going to be going from your Foxtel into your HDMI in as an example here we've got an emitter cable so you plug in your emitter cable in here um, and then you've got a little blaster that will be sitting in front of the uh, in front of the Foxtel box uh, so you've just got to pick your location this cable is uh, 6 feet or 1.8 meters in length You've got some basic mounting uh, mounting equipment. So two of these screws and two two of these uh, widgets will be used for um, for mounting each plate. So this is the equipment transmitting. It'll give you a status to show when it's transmitting. And when we look at the back, you've got two RJ45 uh, uh, Cat5 or Cat6 uh, leads. And that will go from there to where your TV is. So you're going to go two patch cables or, or pre-made cables into there. So the one by the TV, you'll notice that you've got your five volt, five volt power. We get a five volt power supply here, which is all looking good, all approved. And then you've got a target here, which you plug in the target and you place the target on the front of the TV so it can be seen. And from here you've got your HDMI out, which goes out of here into the TV. And again you've got a status for indicating that signal is being sent. So, yeah, I used it, I used it at home and I tried a few different things. The manual specifies that you have to be using this uh, shielded. Cat 5, Cat 6, but what I actually found is it's completely fine with unshielded. Um, performance didn't seem to be affected at all. They're probably just covering themselves for if you're running your cable near electrical. Um, so where you've got EMI, then you've got to be a bit more careful, but otherwise unshielded cable looks to be fine. I also tried different links. So I tried running a 10 meter link um, through the data link, and then a 20 meter link through the, a 20 meter link through the video link, and it was also fine. So both links don't need to be the same distance. One is a, a data link and the other one's a video link. The video link will be the, the high, um, high bandwidth one, the TMDS. The data link will be your slow lane, which is gonna be things like EDID, CEC, and a million other acronyms. Um, and then we've also got the possibility of a five volt at the back here too, into the power board. I should mention that into the um, circuit board. So yeah. How did it work with Foxtel? It actually was a, not, not the most fantastic with Foxtel. I found that the position um, of the uh, receiver, this receiver part by my TV, it actually worked best when I had it at an angle, when I was shooting the Foxtel signal at an angle. When it was front on, it wasn't picking up signal. Foxtel is notoriously difficult with IR, so every other IR seemed to be fine. It's just a Foxtel. So the Foxtel will work you just got to be extremely careful about how you position this one. Um, for the other aspects of it, whenever you've got these HDMIs with um, two cat fives, always our preferred is HD base T because it's actually quite a low, uh, a low bandwidth. It's uh, 2.25 this one, which is a typical kind of bandwidth for these sort of cheaper, cheaper sender receiver uh, things. Having said that, the Foxtel looked exactly the same as. Um, as, HD, as when I ran an HDMI, um, the demands of Foxtel are not that are not that high. I think in the manual it specifies that it's up to HDMI standard 1.3a, um, and it won't support things like deep color. So it's not going to be your ultimate solution. If you can, maybe get an HD base T solution, like um, you know, like a, a Blue Stream or a Quartz or something like that, or a, a Firestorm. So not the best, but also super easy to install. I think it took me a few minutes um, to install it. I just ran some pre-made um, patch leads between the two. 
um, and given the right position of the target it actually worked fine. So for its price it's actually probably going to be a popular product especially for, for um, people who want HDMI over a distance and IR control.